I didn't know that had a pr an approval process, but I also never looked into it. It's loud. This is loud. Like a creator application. Gotcha. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna quell this right now. You're far too loud, Fallout. Alright, there we go. Uh, from what I've seen, Elden Ring's fine. I I thought, obviously, Activision did it, but I, I like Sekiro more than any other any of the other Dark Souls. But Elden Ring Elden Ring does look fun. I played Sekiro a little too much, like. Probably like 150 hours. Platinumed it twice. All that fun jazz. Yeah. I just liked it because it was single player. It was just you had you had to get good. <clears throat> but I'll probably get Elden Ring at some point when it's like thirty bucks. Cause I was definitely, I was carried through Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. I, I eventually resorted to cheating in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, wait for a really good sale, exactly. I was carried through Bloodborne. Who am I supposed to be talking to? You? This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Kings want help with the relief. Want like to help, help with the re relief said? effort. <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know the envoy was sent. Watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, <clears throat> perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. The only Dark Souls game I absolutely fucking despise is Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 can burn in hell. Oh yeah, the lore is there. Um, I mean, not using it anymore. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. <clears throat> He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Right, Pacer. Yeah, they had really good lore. Uh, you had to look for it, though. But I always enjoyed the worlds they created. Everything is just like very, like very detailed. Oops. Bloodborne's lore had you most excited. That's fair. That's fair. I unfortunately never paid attention to the lore too much. I was more so frustrated with dying. Me? Frustrated? With di- No way. The Eldritch. Who that is? Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. What's up? 
I should do another playthrough and send people to Yusefka. Or Isefka's clinic or whatever it is. You're still standing there po on post, man. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty. So I'll Woo! tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Use five on guns and uh, no, ten on speed. We're gonna finally take. Are we gonna finally take Black Widow? Ooh, Mysterious Stranger. No, we're just gonna go here and now. We'll get another level. Eh, I probably should have saved that. But you know, it happens. It happens. Yeah, yeah, all the bad. Oh, the the hy the hy the hypogean, hy hypo hypogean jail, hypogean jail. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? About Rex here. I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck than I did. Yes! Also, very, very good fucking quest name. I have to go. Yes, give me all the side quests. Ah. I just hope my graphics card could handle uh, Elden Ring. Of course, I, I don't have a PlayStation Pro, so I wouldn't want to do that to my PlayStation. Ain't that a kicking? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Yes, Only thank you. What? What are you doing? Hi. Oh. 
Hi, do you need assistance? King said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Max. It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. King brought him here for treatment then? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. Is there anyone who could do There's all that? There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Thank you. You've been very no helpful. Problem. You can go back to bed now, it's fine. I'll put a glass pitcher on you, though. Ah, I'm gonna wake up confused. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Oh, we're telling the king about it. Okay. I think you get Rex after this. Rex the lap dog. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Julie Farkas said a man in Jacobstown can treat Rex. She said what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. <laughs> anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor? And I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Absolutely. I'll see that he gets better. I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here, if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats, or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you'll see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect her as you would me. Rex has given you the search and mark perk. All right. Things have been a lot better since you helped. Ask away. I want to join the Normally, kings. We don't let outsiders join, and you'd be the first female king ever. But I think I can make an exception in your case. From this day forward, you're one of us, and no one in Freeside will mess with you if they know what's good for them. In addition, if you want to do something about that hair of yours. Talk to Sergio. I'll let him know you're coming. Perhaps more importantly, you've earned the right to wear something a little more stylish. Here, wear it proudly. All right. You can do it, Rexy. 
Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? I mean, Rexy seems to be fine with my hat. I'm just saying. Space meaning anything to you, lady? All the way over in a crater. Okay, let's do it. Yes, thank you for reminding me that I can buy whatever I need at Mick and Ralph's. Really just trying to get to level 20. So I can start doing the DLC. North Vegas Square. Down here. And hold North Sewers. I just like how they decided, Upcity and decided to put some background music in here. Yay, my order has been picked up. Be fat. Welcome back. Uh, I ordered just some fat McDonald's. Four sausage McMuffins and two hash browns. I will rip the hash browns in part to put on the sausage McMuffins. I like the simple things. I know. I know. Howdy. Well, Rex doesn't seem to mind your hat. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? Who are you? Me? I'm Sammy of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's That's fair. most dangerous and notorious criminal duo. You better not mess with us or you'll end up face down in a shallow grave. Sound pretty tough. Wonder why I've never heard of you. Simple. Up until now, we committed our crimes stealthily, leaving no evidence behind, so we never built a rep. But that's going to change with our next score. You just wait and see. I, I know that feeling. Except usually it's me trying to... Uh the hash browns forever I agree specifically McDonald's <laughs> hash browns uh, but I know the feeling about things being too sweet like there was one time I'm like oh yeah let's mix fireball and coke and like you start drinking it and you literally just feel the sugar mainlining into your body <laughs> What's your plan? You'll have to ask Pauline about that. She's the brains of our operation. I'm the muscle. Goodbye. It is. Like, you drink too much of it, and, like, you don't even feel bad for being drunk. You feel bad for how much sweet you just took into your face all. You best not try any funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. I'll kill both of you. What do you want? Who are you? I'm Pauline. Of Sammy and Pauline, the wasteland's most dangerous and notorious. You've never drank Coke. Couple. Keep it that way. <laughs> You'd best not mess with us, or you'll have a bullet hole where your eye used to be. I'm pretty tough. Why haven't I heard of you two? Before? We ain't never heard of you either. So the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though, and everyone will oh, have heard Dr. of Dr. Pepper's so good. Just you wait. 
Especially cherry vanilla. Sammy and me got our hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. You know Vance? Of Vance and Vicky? That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip and rob one of the casinos. Maybe all of them. We'll be known as the greatest gunslingers to ever terrorize the wastelands. Your plan is gonna get you both killed. You see, you'll feel stupid that you made fun of us when you learn how rich we are. All right. That's the greatest plan I've ever heard in my entire life. Really? You think so? We've only got the one gun, and there's two of us. And we've never done anything like this before. What up, Armacore? We've never been on the strip either, so we don't know how many guards the casinos have. And I kept having these nightmares. What are we thinking? We're gonna get ourselves killed. Look, tell Sammy to give you the gun, all right? Just take it. Thank you so I much for the eight months tier one stupid. subscription, Armacore. You want to go? It's coming. Yeah, bye. It's coming. Is Dr. Pepper better from a fountain? Or do you want to, or do you want to Mr. Deeds it and have, have the Dr. Pepper drinking fountain in the, in the house? Said you work in a 12 hour day? Fuck all that noise. Hello, contactor. It was Hawaiian Punch, but Snoop Brigade said, uh, he wants, he, uh, wants Dr. Pepper from a fountain. So I was like, a, just a soda fountain, or like, a like the drinking fountain from Mr. Deeds? Nice. I like Dr. Pepper with a kiss! Of Jamie. Also, hello, uh, member of the workforce, Curls Burgers. It would definitely be a concern. We'd figure it out, though. Check out the other streamer I like named Genic107. He's better than you. Is there a second Genic107? You have no idea who the streamer is, but more cats. Hell yeah! Hatchwork kitty. Eric is approaching with your order from McDonald's. Oh no, do I have to Skyrim climb a mountain? Why the hell was that worth 65 experience? Something's poisoning me and I have no idea from where. Hingle McCringle. Oh, I'm I am poisoned. That's what's hitting me. Rexy. Yeah, they knocked out Rex. Nope, only one OG Nick. I'm not OG Nick. I'm G Nick. I still want to make an alternate channel of uh, set seven zero icing.
All right, we got our fat food. We got our I have a problem food. I need to put another stipulation on myself so I stop fucking ordering DoorDash food. I don't know why the fight music is still playing. Probably because I'm poisoned. I don't wanna. Thank God it was a young one. Still worth 65 points though. Hi, Rex. We're gonna... We're just gonna... Throw down one of them. I have a three-day weekend. And it feels so good. Going to the auto show tomorrow. I don't think there's any Skyrim climb in this. I'm gonna have to find some wacky way around. Or wacky way up. Coming up on three years of fucking streaming.
I should totally do another 24 for my three year anniversary, right? The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. Why are you so tough? Dangerously low on stim packs. Do the rest of them just disappear? You won't escape me. Oh, come on, dude. He crit me? Yeah, we're definitely talking popcorn oil curves, burgers. Nothing else. I'm just letting you know, I have some yellow liquid for your popcorn. And it's non-dairy. That's all. I'll beat these fucks. <clears throat> I 
My nipples look like milk duds. It's so funny, Curls Burgers. Yeah, so's the so so's the yellow liquid for your popcorn. I ain't fighting you. I ain't fighting you. I'm I'm not I'm not fighting you. I would lose. That scared the ever-living piss out of me.
What, Rex? What'd I do? Oh. Do I want to waste time traversing this mine right now? No, no, I don't. Mm -mm. I sure don't. Yep, I sure don't. No, no, uh uh. Not happening. Nope. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. If I me! Rexy one shots them, but they also one shot Rex. Am I good? Yeah. Oh, I found something way friendly, Darth. What up? No! You leave Rex alone! Rex just destroyed that motherfucker. Rex, do your thing. Rex, do your thing. Rex. 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 Rex, do your thing. Make make me experience. Not that these Rex. You know, they're not that tough, and they're worth a lot of experience. So, uh... We're gonna go find them. Officially out of food now. I'm sad. It's taken everything. It took everything in my power last night to not go to Hamburger Station and get a six pack and two fries, and then want to die after I annihilated it all. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you're probably better off for it. My G cat, good morning. Welcome in. Hey, today ends the month of dieting. What are you gonna do after the month of dieting? Don't know what that is, but it sounds awesome. Hamburger station is a little uh, smash burger joint really a slider joint but smash they do it smash burger stuff I guess there wasn't anything for me to kill plan to annihilate a smoke uh, smoke shack stack and a donut hell yeah <clears throat>
still eat lighter in general. You have not had sugar in 25 days. Do you look forward to a nap? That's fair, that's fair. How's everyone this morning? Darth? Why'd you cat? Why'd you cat apparently commented on a YouTube video? <laughs> so tired. You stay up t uh, too late playing a certain game. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to continue playing Halo 4 by myself this morning. Halo 4 fixed itself. I was able to beat that one mission. <laughs> Played Oblivion all night. You're, you're a bad person in Oblivion? Or are you just a bad person because you played a video game all night? They might make New Vegas Flu. You're gonna play Elden Ring all night tonight? Hell yeah. Yes, thank goodness it was fixed. And not record a damn thing. That's right! Play a video game for yourself. That's what I'm doing with Halo. Haven't slept yet because, uh, because work, but you're off tonight? Hell yeah. Oh, is this where the, is this where the one lady is? Yes! Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk You're around. You're a bad person in a quest. You made bad decisions. They don't like I approve. Looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Thanks, Marcus. Looking for Dr. Henry. Walks inside the lodge. I have some questions about Jacobstown. Such as, What's the history of Jacobstown? It's a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. I'd like to know about you. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. Super mutant army? Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. Didn't end well. You were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of Super Mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Tell me more about the we tribal. We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. How about something else? All right. Why do some of the super mutants here dislike the NCR? Have bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. That's right. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. <clears throat> Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. What makes the NCR too they ambitious? Expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it, eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Anything else you can tell me about the NCR? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. You have any dealings with New Vegas? Not really. 
Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Talk about something else. All right. What's wrong with the night king? Night king suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. It is Marcus. The reason I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. Bad man. Town, the night king aren't allowed Hello? to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the night king don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. <laughs> I, I, I guess you might be able to do it with practice. With the same voice. That I don't understand. Are there any town rules I need to know? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. I don't, I don't know whose voice that is. Goodbye. <laughs> no, no, my jacket. I wish. That'd be awesome. Who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. You got it, Lily. I think you had me confused with someone else. I, oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? What are you doing, Jacobstown? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. That's right, Lily. Goodbye. Talk to you soon, dear. I definitely didn't slaughter a few of these. Nope, they definitely weren't worth 65 experience apiece. Nope. Negative. Another human. One was enough. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> you have a problem with humans? Humans are always staring at things. We Nikon don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. <laughs> Stare silently at him. Ah, humans. <laughs> What up, Doc Henry? Calamity. Oh, you're a ghoul. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. You were literally just standing there. Something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. <clears throat> Biomed gel can only preserve a living I agree. for so long. So you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Yep. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. <laughs> okay. We're going to be bad. <laughs> what are you working on? Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth feel. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'd like to help with that. What do you need I'm me to do? I'm convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one. And I need yes, someone getting to investigate all the side quests. Proof. 
Some of the super trying to get to level 20 so we can do well, DLC. But they've come back empty-handed. Even over weak. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horns to Night Stalker attacks, and would enjoy a little revenge. Doc Henry's how you got your cyber dog and Paula too. Oh, so they're they're combining some shit. Nice. What makes you think the Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin no, to I the didn't. local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. I also want a cyber dog. But I had I had to I had to go get my I Live Alone 3000. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh. I have one. Why is Stealth Boy Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. The Stealth Boy use hurt humans? It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Why are you helping the Nikin? Because Nikin? Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Talk about something else. If we... You're a scientist. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared <clears throat> to what I had when I was with the Enclave. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Ain't I neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Was, was that an oil rig at the end of two that you blew up? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Talk about something else. I was surprised to find another I human here. the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Goodbye. Go get you a brain, boy. We'll be back for Lily. Uh, let's go out there. Yes. So, anybody that doesn't know, this uh, quest is from the Kings. The Kings are a bunch of Elvis impersonators, and the quest name is nothing but a hound dog. So I know which one I'm fucking looking at. Oh. Yeah, I think I think the first one was GI Blues. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa! Get him, Rex! Yeah! Fucking lake lurks, get out of here!
Anyway. I think I'm picking to go straight to the freaking Legion first, which is not ideal. And if that is the case, we're gonna make a new one right here. Do I want to risk swimming in that? That's the question. We can only Skyrim this for so long. Oh, it's not irradiated. Hell yeah. Please no? I, I don't know what that was, but please no? Oh, the dam! I, I think I'm going straight into the Legion like an idiot. This should be bad. I really should have put all my shit into strength again. <laughs> And been big dumb, but no. Let's play a smart character with no fucking help. Excuse me? But why? But why? A little rude video game. Obsidian. Very unimmersive. Invis walls are very unimmersive, Obsidian. That wise streamer definitely wasn't me. Aw, oh, you bitch. Bet I can't climb right here either. It's an invisible! Why? Fuck you, Obsidian. Fucking pieces of shit. Pieces of shit like you for breakfast. This isn't the post-apocalyptic future I want, though. I want a canteen that fills itself with monster energy drink when I touch water. To whoever invented back scratchers, I love you. Too bad I don't have a butt scratcher. Butt scratcher, get your butt scratchers here. Butt scratcher! <clears throat> Bruh! Why? How 
how far out of my way do I gotta walk to get on top of this ridge line? Butt scratcher! Get your butt scratcher here! Obsidian, why? Unimmersive. So I can have a faster route to where I want to go. But instead, no, I got to walk all the way around, go to the Hoover Dam. Because they're like, Invisual! Discovered the Hoover Dam. I don't think it was lost though. Hey. What on earth is that creature? What creature? Oh, my dog. I don't know. My dog's clearly not next to me. Are you wait? Are you serious? Hey. How the? F but how? The what? I've been bamboozled. Well, fine. I'll go to this other fucking spot. Fuck you, Obsidian. Right in the butthole. This is all, this is all for me tr trying to keep me from going and taking a poor old lady's doggy to s harvest their brain. And you're just gonna force my hand to go sacrifice an old lady's doggy so my doggy can have a new brain. Fabulous New Vegas. C.A. Ranfield. Er, oh, Camp McCarran. Look at that. Hello. 
Is that the is that the airport out there? Is it called McCarran? Anyway. <laughs> Whatever that was. This definitely isn't radio. Hey, 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 hey. Get him, Rexy! Thank you, Rex. Out here just crippling both of my- Yo, yo, yo! Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Rex. Why is this overrun with ants? I don't know. See, this is what you should think about every time you leave a suite open on the on the counter. Or canned peaches open on the counter. <laughs> Whenever Archer said, you want ants? You're eating them shits, exactly. Well, you see, I was a shitty little ch child. And, uh... I... I'll take a bunch of empty bottles. I was a shitty little child, and I used to sneak an extra pumpkin roll, but I'd be dumb, and I wouldn't close the pumpkin roll. I'd come back up later. Ants. Ants. No uncles ever. Just ants. I mean, <laughs> bad joke. Anyway. I know, I know, I know Curl's Burgers. This is like, obviously, people know my last name. And I got asked once, oh, do you have any, do you have any, uh, pennies or quarters? And I was like, yeah, and they're like, w what's their names? You know my last name, you know. <laughs> The Basin Creek building. Fuck it, let's look. Heckles the comic. <laughs> oh, look away! The person that needs to look away knows <laughs> who they are. <laughs> Me 
Here, you little rat roach. Exterminator time? Exactly. Did someone call for an exterminator? Was there literally nothing in this room? It was a locked room to literally nothing? God, I, I'm not used to having headphones on, but I literally hear them crawling everywhere. <laughs> oh! Might have been it. All right, all right. It's safe again. Why'd you get? They're gone. <laughs> for, for, for now. Yeah, they're gone. I can't go up there. There's literally nothing in there. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I'm here with my two crippled legs. Hey, hey, hey! Rexy, do my bidding. Yeah, Rexy! Just remember, Rexy, we're killing them to get you a new brain. I know I'm crippled. It's, uh, degrading. Neuro something. So instead of taking one of the sweet little old ladies' dogs, I'm here to take some jackasses' dogs. Yo! That is a lot! Rexy! Thank you, Rexy! Thank you, Rexy! Thank you, Rexy. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas, where your followers kills gets you experience. Oh! And they never die, exactly. Oh no! Rexy's unconscious. How dare you do that to my Rexy? Hope you liked your head. Oh, it's crippled. Oh! We're almost level 14. So we're gonna do that. Where's the laser rifle? Repair. Any other laser rifles we can pick up? Hey, how about you have stim packs? I'm unnecessarily low. Nephi's golf driver? Nef driver Nephi's head. 
I'll take his head. Fuck it. Why not? Oh, I literally ripped it off. <laughs> buffed energy weapons yet. Rex 8! I'll show you my own blood. Clip that, please. <laughs> oh, my energy weapons are pretty high. Fine. We're going to be able to talk our way out of anything. Clipping broken. I'm so disappointed in you, Curlsburgers. It's definitely your fault. A purifier. As a purifier of the wasteland, you do plus 50% damage with melee and unarmed weapons against centaurs, night stalkers, four plants, four carriers, death claws, super mutants, and feral ghouls. With adamantium skeleton perk, your limbs only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. Not bad. Why would a fast metabolism give you more health when you're using stim packs? Take the skeleton. Rex, you awake yet? Hi, Rex. This game breaks too much to not oversave. You know what? We're actually going to... Eh, we're fine. We'll drink a Nuka-Cola. You clipped the fiend clipping. Thank you, my G-Cat. You hope, <laughs> you hope you did good? I'll judge it when I randomly see it on a video shout-out. <laughs> Obsidian, like, I'm on very easy, I believe. It'd be funny if I was on very hard. Yeah, I'm on very easy. They didn't make it too easy, like, three. Of course, I made three too easy by doing the DLC first. Oh, Rexy! You're gonna have to bail my ass out for a little bit. There's the doggies. Who wants to give my boy a brain? Oh! You've gained the Lord Death perk. Whatever that does. Violetta's brain. We got the brain, boy. Oh! Oh, that poor fiend! Didn't even see what was coming. Am 
might as well discover the location while I'm here. All right, we got we got we got our doggy a brain without taking a dog from the nice old lady. This is an irradiated gas station. All right. First off, I think this has a bed. I just want a bed. An easy bed. Oh, I may have been incorrect. I am not incorrect. Well, there's enemies nearby. Oh, that is unnecessary. Thank you, Rex. I am fully aware I am crippled game. Jesus. Kazar's Legion is no joke. Came here for beds. Where'd all the bodies go? I wanted to loot them. I can loot an NCR Ranger. Whatever, let's go get rid of some weight. Go to our one box in the Doc's house that we keep using. Actually, we should sell shit over here. What up? You looking to buy some supplies? Can. Ooh, you have a lot. Ooh, you're worth a lot. Fuck it. Oh, both of these things are broken.
want to keep those, though. Case. Just impacts. Another satisfied customer. And I think your prices are a little too high, but my barter is shit, so. So I told myself to fill the Brita last night. Do you think I filled the Brita last night? I'm so used to not to not checking on my armor because of how I play three, but like it never even occurred to me to fucking look at that. Yo, thank you so much for the uh, chilling in the corner, Prius. I hope you have an even better day. Alright, that's good enough. We have seventy pounds. Yo, Doc. How are you holding up? I need medical supplies. Be right back. I have my dihydrogen monoxide. I have to walk away in another second to, uh... Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. How have they been harassing the town? Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Sure the, uh, you sure these mercenaries work for the NCR? I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Why can't you just take Not them out? To fight. That'll give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. 
What do you want me to do? Human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Yes! Another side quest. All to get to level 20. We have a lot of side quests to do now. That's awesome. But first, Rex needs a new brain! You're still on the computer, bro? Hey there! Is there something else I can do for you? I have a new brain for Rex. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. Took down a fiend dog named Violetta. Big brain on this one. All right, let's see. Damn. Heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug Turbo are present. Transplanting this brain will make Rex faster than he was before. Transplant Violetta's brain into Rex. See. This will take a while. Rex has gained the unshakable tracker perk, increasing his movement speed. Hell yeah. You ready to track things down there, Exy? Huh? How you feeling, boy? Happy bark. Certainly looking better. Ha! Ah, wait, what? Alright, so we're vilified with Kazar. Neutral and free side. Idolized in Good Springs. Accepted by the cons. Accepted by the NCR, idolized in Novak, vilified by the Powder Gangers. You gain damage bonus against everything because you like killing everything. Oh! That's a good perk to have! We dig in the blue, should we should we change this up? What does white look like? Interesting. Let's do that. Where am I even going? My speech is super high, so I better be able to persuade these fucks. Our business is with the muties, not you. Go away, or you'll have to deal with me, and you'll wish you were fighting the super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. That was easy. It helps when your speech is over 70. Something on your mind? 
Uh, you won't have any more trouble with those mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. That was easy. What's the story with Keen? Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. What is, why does Keen want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. A miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. What happens if Keen leaves? If that happens, there's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. You're a mutant too, wouldn't the Night Kit listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Talk about something else. Goodbye. Alright, Lily. Can I have two followers? We're gonna find out. Guess who I saw today. You know, I'm not digging the white. Alright, we're going back to blue. Hello again, dear. Looking into the Night Stalker mutation. Want to come along with me? Ooh, those Night Stalkers. Always carrying my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. Lily has given you the stealth girl perk. I do have two followers. Let's go. Oh, can I not? Uh-oh. Oh, I wish I would have kept the rebar hammer to give to Lily. What can I give you? I don't know why, but that was fucking hilarious. Grandma's got a present for you. Not gonna invis wall me, obsidian, right?
Lily has suffered a psychotic break. She will remain in an aggressive state and will not respond to your commands until the break ends. Well, rest in peace, literally everything. Yes, y'all do all the work. I will, I will benefit greatly. Apparently, uh, have a dragon asleep on your shoulder. Nice. I just hear Lily breathing. <laughs> Sounds like me breathing in a normal fucking, uh, situation. Uh-oh. She said, gracious me, I lost control. No! Woo! We're level 15. Hmm. Gonna put it all into barter. I need I need some better prices. <laughs> Look for the source of the Night Stalker stealth. Tell Doc Henry you discovered a potential cause for the Night Stalker mutations. Hey, we're we're getting close to ten hours into this playthrough. Hell yeah. Do my bidding. Rex, no! what the stalker girl uh, perk does. That's funny. Did I do all of this? <laughs> oh. No, no, it's not. It's high intelligence, low strength, and endurance. <laughs> but I'm also very lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish filling my Brita. I'll be right back.
I'm back. What are we doing? We're filling Britta's. Steffi, what are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. I told myself to fill the Brita last night, and I didn't. So I had to fill the Brita now. <laughs> How are you doing? Feeling like a villain, waiting for the streamer to come back? Hell yeah. I leave my YouTube videos too. Hey there. Is there something else I can do for you? <laughs> I found a chewed up stealth boy in the night start hmm. earlier. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More a day is going this all right. Why my research into this I slept. Night stars hasn't come I woke up. Cure I got McDonald's. There's only one I'm playing left. video games on the internet. I need to run the Mark people. II test on Lily. It's the only way. How about yours? Why Lily and not some other night Lily kid? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks. And she still insists on helping me. What are the risks of the experiment? Immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a so, reason. So far, so good. It's never got beyond the prototype stage. I'm sure I'll. I'm sure I'll ruin it for myself at some point today. So far, so good. make things worse for her. I'll talk to Lily then. I'll be waiting. Not too long ago. Nice. <laughs> Oh, hold on, 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 hold on. Grab a gun up present. Did you still want to help Doc, uh, Dr. Henry run his experiment? Oh, it broke. Of course, Derry. I know it's dangerous, but it'll turn out for the best, you'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. You have lost the Lily Stealth Girl perk. Hello. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the <laughs> test as soon as you give me the go ahead. Go ahead and start the test. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Please don't kill Lily. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Calamity's not looking at anything. I'm scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. It must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I like having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy, Specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Good thing my speech is high. What you do in the wasteland affects all the mutants here. But you didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Don't look at me. I appreciate the host. I appreciate the lurk, Steffi. I will have an amazing stream. You have an amazing day. Hey there. 
You know, I'm kind of glad that I shoved a bunch of points in the speech. <laughs> I force fed points in the speech. <laughs> I'm go I I have to go along with the with the theme here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair, Shadow Man. I don't think any like normal first playthrough would, would ever have speech high enough to defuse that situation. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk there. Even Doc Henry hasn't been able to see it. it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment. And am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype. Oh, my science isn't high enough. Damn it. Neuron decay. All right, are we are we gonna say that it's too great? Don't keep running it, or Lily could, should keep wearing wearing it. What do you want to do? I'm close to the cure. I can feel it. Lily's continued help will give me the last bit of data that I need. What will happen to Lily? The damage to her mind is a certainty. Even the cure won't help her. I can't do that. That's not a good random. Heads, we say don't keep running the test. Tails, we say keep running the test. It was heads. Don't keep running the test. All right. I'll dismantle the prototype to avoid any further incidents with the Nightkin. All right. Where's Lily? Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Hey. Bother someone else. Who's the other human you mentioned? Dr. Henry. Oh. Lily. So many stars. Can you come with me? I don't know where Lily went. There's Lily. Do you come with me again? I think we should travel together. Yes. We have Lily. We're gonna go fuck up Benny. Some out of side quests. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher, how'd you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. 
but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Prior, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That's horrible. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. That escort, like armed guards? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. You got paid for sex? I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Gun for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Talk about something else. Right. Goodbye. Oh, I was looking through that. I was looking through Lily's top. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Damn it. Credit check? What's that for? The strip requires an official passport, or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering, and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Should, should have got that fake passport. Please return when you Where is I have to go in? This is. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Right here. I think this is Mick and Ralph's. Oh, where the fuck's Mick and Ralph's?
might as well start taking this shit so I can sell it. I get you. I could buy a passport. Thanks. I'll be back. Welcome back. Have you only have two caps. I'll be back. Looking to buy some supplies? I'll sell the forty four. That'll work. Another satisfied customer. save out here in case this for whatever reason doesn't work. Adventures of Hingle McCringle. You are a great magician. Your clothes are now red. Hello. Mm, blue clothes. Hey, what can I get you? Now you need to watch it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I'm blue clothes. Oh, well, let's calm down here. We don't want to lose any toes. Mm, tender. Submit to a credit check. Five hundred caps, well spent. Well, this will be a muted section. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Thought you were destroyed. I look destroyed, partner. It's harder to put old Vic and Boot Hill than you might think. Please don't mute my audio. Stuck inside just one secure trunk. No, if the one I'm in turns up a goner, I just find another. Fine as cream gravy. What are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wife. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Why is a robot passing on his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't know. He'll be waiting. That's it. Keep moving. I see the street. 
Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of puke. Are you okay? That was a lot. How are you alive? We're going after Benny. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. He pulled out weapon. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Where'd you take my weapons? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. What does there do here? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Goodbye. Have a good time. Where are you, Benny? Evening. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. Seems you need to work on your marksmanship. I, I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare, or you just thick skulled. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and Handler. me cash out? Go somewhere it's more private, like. Oh, that's right, Matthew Perry. Got, I'll answer. I want the platinum chip, and I want it now. I can't do that, baby, and you know it. There's a lot of angles to this caper. Complexities aplenty. But plenty of action, too. Enough for both of us. But we don't jabber about that out here in public. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. What'd you have in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Two conditions. Lose the bodyguards, and we both go to the suite now. Ooh, do we want to pay... That's a, uh, that suit's a nice touch, but someone's got to pay off my contract. Where's my manners? Here's some cash up front. There'll be more where that came from. Wait for me in the presidential suite. We got a future together, you and me. It's time we got started. Well. Trust you for now. Quest added, wild card, ace in the hole. A nice sweet. Oh, beer, what? Scotch, what? Vodka, what? Whiskey, what? G Nick is back, am I? 
Where is he? Where is he? What's up, Viper Human? I know, I hide. I hide in plain sight sometimes, though. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Three bottle caps. You drank one beer. You drank two beers. You drank a third beer. Am I gonna have to play the... Am I gonna have to play the Stone Cold, uh... But... Kila? What? <laughs> Just sworn to saw a tweet saying... I did. And then I had another tweet saying, Okay, I'm back. <laughs> But, uh, unimmersive! Doing some Stone Cold Steve Austin beer in a bit, right? Yes! I got somebody, I got somebody right over there throwing me stuff. That's all good. I streamed a little bit yesterday. And then I got up today and I was like, alright, let's, let's play some New Vegas. And it hasn't! Broken on me in two and a half hours. So that's that's good. It's due to break on me. Don't don't worry. Do I just wait up here. There it is. There it is. I said it. I knocked. I knocked on a countertop game. Literally just said, oh, it hasn't broken on me yet. And I said two and a half hours, two hours, 29 minutes. It's like, teach you to fucking say something. Anyway. Baby, this little meet and greet of ours Chalk me up as a no-show. It would be 41 flavors of stupid to let you get a drop on me. And you've caused plenty enough trouble as is. You forced my hand. Hell, I gotta skip town because of you. A real pain in the caboose. Where does this put the two of us? Nowheresville, that's where. Sorry about the double cross. Or are we up to quadruple? But if someone's gonna die, it's you. All I am is a courier trying to fulfill my contract. All this is just work ethic run wild? That's your line? I don't know. Can you get it through your thick skull to leave me and the chip alone? If bullets can't get through, what hope is there? I dig your line. Let me live. You'll never see me again. God damn it. I'm actually gonna let you live? What's come over me? Scramsville, baby. The stripping you part ways, dig? You come around me again, you won't be getting back up. Oh, don't worry. As soon as I see your ass, I'm killing you. Immediately. Yeah, you don't let me catch your checkerboard suit. checkerboard suit exactly if I see if I see Benny's face they're dead
I hope Swank's smarter than Benny. Oh, Benny. Benny about to get hit. Ooh, some sexy sleepwear. Hold on. Hold the phone. Now it's nothing but lingerie for the next hour. Exactly. How's it hanging? You dig this crazy scene or what? Mind you, the fishnets are in Dead Rising 2, right after I found the massager. It's Yes Man! You seen Benny? Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Ring a ding ding. We're level 16, baby. What are you doing here? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes Man? What kind of a name is it's that? Like Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what that's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well... Some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chips are proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Thank you. What's Benny planning to do with the oh. chip? He wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! Great. You're very forthcoming with the information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? What if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. What are the details of the plan? Goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Quest added. Say Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. 
It's the central node of his entire network. I'd have been invited to visit the Lucky 38. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. What do you know about the courier Benny I shot? I knew she was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip? Just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact routes and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? I'm the courier Benny Shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. I'm serious. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. Benny seems to have run off with the platinum chip. No kidding, he was running fast. He better pace himself. He has to run all the way to Fortification Hill. There's an underground facility there that might have the special hardware required to use the data on the platinum chip. It's too bad Caesar's Legion built its camp right above it. Talk about inconvenient. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Let's look at the platinum chip. What then? I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kerpow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it, after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know this whole game is literally up to you. To lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. To ask the tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Which tribe should I get to know? A bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip. The Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. Yeah. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Of course. Jesus Christ. What do you know about the boomers? They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion or NCR, though, well, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? I'll get back to you about the boomers. Take all the. Anything else? What do I need to know about the Great Khans? The are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals. And they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. How have the Khans been kicked around? One of the tribes, the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. 
Need to take some more time with the cons. You set the pace. Anything. What do you know about the Omertas? I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Yes. Keep giving me the side quests. Know anything else about the Omertas? That Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something. Because he said they always are. I'll check into the Omertas some more. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else? What do you know about the White Glove Society? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. I'll let you know when I'm done evaluating the White Glove Society. Don't worry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. I like Anything you, yes, man. Can help with? Where should I look for the Brotherhood of Steel? Some of Mr. House's dad has said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. What do you know about the Brotherhood they of Steel? They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself yep. with robots. I'm not ready to decide what I want to do with the Brotherhood. No rush. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? So Benny reprogrammed a Skiritron all by himself? Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. What is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. You said something about a bunker at the fort. Wait. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else, maybe a giant robot or something. I'll go check it out. Neat. Let me... oh, what you said about the bunker That's at the right. fort? The data on that. I got so many fucking things. All right, so what we want to do here? We're gonna put barter up to fifty. Uh. Tag perks allows you to select a fourth skill to be a tag skill, which instantly raises it by 15 points. Weapon strength requirement are now two points lower than normal for you. Okay. Better criticals. With the better criticals perk, you gain 50% damage bonus every time a critical hit is scored on an opponent. Ooh. Alright, speech is maxed out. There's literally no speech challenge we can fail. <laughs> First off. Alright, we have a lot of shit we can do now. gonna go there yet
we're not going to do that yet. Let's go here. Wow, Benny literally had nothing back here. Way to go, Benny. Well, since it's not a crime, let's unlock all the locked doors. Oh, Kat, have you picked a lock in Oblivion yet? Do you like it? Locks are hard. <laughs> yeah, they're different. You you have to you, you have to uh, hit the tumblers. I like the persuasion game, fair. We're just building that experience, baby. Good, you're good at puzzles and stuff. Good. Your brain. <laughs> there you go. That's all that matters. I forgot there was a persuasion game. Did I unlock all the doors I can unlock? I love, I love me some free experience. How's it hanging? Oh, it's hanging. There you go. Sometimes understand a thing. Fair enough. Whatever, we're leaving. Give me my weapons back. As I steal your sexy sleepwear. Enjoying your stay. All my stuff get, does all my stuff just get added back? The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip, and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. How'd you find me here? I am one of Kaisar's Frumentari, an infiltrator, a spy. Yeah. You were not difficult to track. How do you know about Benny? Little escapes the notice of Kaisar. He has eyes everywhere. Why does Kaisar want to see me? Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go.
Can I... Can I... Can I be... Can I be left alone? Anyway. I'm gonna go do what I was... Doing. Revolting Cocktail Lounge. Hottest tables in town. Oh. Why is it a revolting cocktail lounge? Hey. No one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Okay, keep hold out we'll weapons. Get these back on your way out. Hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Calling in for an outstanding balance for some information. Tell me what the Omeritas are up to. I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? I didn't know who to talk to about what's been going on in Gamora. All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business. The Enjoy persuasion games so much you want to do it. Ask Everyone him. in Cyrodiil, nice. You found a whole castle. It's yours now? Hell yeah. We sure it didn't say revolving? It probably said revolving. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend it said revolting. Sure, you have all the good dart on what goes wrong sure around do, here. But loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Oh, speech 28. Yeah, I can't fail a speech challenge anymore. Don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. What can you tell me about what's going on around the strip? I've heard some pretty shady rumors about the Ultralux. I'm not sure what the deal is, but although they try to put on airs, that place is just plain creepy. Maybe it's the masks. What's our dude around here? Feel free to head to our club, Brimstone, or you can see our gorgeous courtyard out behind the casino. <sighs> I'm not sure what's going on at Lucky 38. That place is weird. Nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. It's hard to believe that not too long ago, most of the families on the Strip were little more than warring tribes. The Emeritus even had a big war with the Khans once upon a time. Not much of a rumor, but I hear the Tops is always looking for new talent. Lord knows they've needed it for a long time. Sorry, that's all. What the fuck are you looking at? Nothing. I was just leaving. Oh. That was this. Tell yes man that you visited Gamora and wished to ignore the Omertas. Fair enough. Alright, where's Kachino? Who are you even dealing to? There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. You better not fuck with our power. Who who hit? What are you Damn those invisible gamblers, right? I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? Dickweed? I hear you've been doing some business on the side. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? 
Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I hear you've been dealing with some business that is off limits for fame. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. You again. What the fuck do you want? Later. Oh, Jesus. Such a bad doctor losing his patience. I know. Had to call a big man dick weak. Dick weak. See what he says? Do it. Probably don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Big man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. No context. Dick weed. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has a key to it. How do I get back there? Oh, it's probably up the stairs. Is there stairs here? Well, hello. Enjoying the show. Yep. See it. I think there's something wrong. Well, that dog. Why doesn't Kachino have a fucking key to his Kachino's room? I gotta find a key. Wonder if all of them just know I was I was straight up in their pockets and they won't they they don't know. No, you acting like you don't know. Lily! Alright. So who's cooler? Lily or Fox? I think Lily. Gamora is always open for business. Fox? Fair. Gamora is always Get behind Anyway. I think there's something wrong with that dog. Nothing wrong with that dog. I did I did have Fox uh put in the code. I think you were there, but I did, I did laugh when I had Fox put in the code, and like the fucking, and the real hero here. <laughs> okay, um, go to the main level. Go see if the receptionist has the key. What the fuck are you looking at? 
Welcome to Gamora. Need a key to Kachino's room. Do you have one that'll work? Yeah. Kachino's a creep. I'll give you a key for some cats. Hazard pay. Barter, no! No! God damn it! Why you do this? <laughs> Fine, here you go. If that I think it's bullshit she doesn't have the 300 caps in her fucking inventory. Find yourself a girl or a guy. Have some fun. Thank you. Why are you pointing at me? Oh my god, do you hear it? I hear it. <laughs> it, it's, some people are going at it. <laughs> uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Cachino's journal documents a couple of months of Cachino's activities. It contains a detailed ledger describing many of his business deals over the last few months, including the sales of chems and weapons. It is clear at a quick glance that these transactions are his own personal finances, and this is done behind the backs of the Omerta family management structure. He also talks in great detail about many sexual encounters with Gamora prostitutes, including Joanna. After nearly every off-the-book sale or sexual uh, trait, trist? He vows that this one will be his last. So I could have pickpocketed the journal or done what I did. Okay, not bad. <laughs> That's right. That's right, cat. <laughs> Brimstone, catch the show only at Gamora. Grandma has to take her pills now. <laughs> Grandma has to take her pills now. Beans are bad. You again? What the fuck do you want? Found this ledger that proves some of your side business. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Barter, no! I think the family would like to see this? I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. This journal worth 100 caps to I you? I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning. Maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. 
Okay, 100 caps, and you help me break whatever your bosses have oh, planned. Some caps. Now give me the journal. All right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. What kind of specialist is no uh, Clandon? They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambler. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. I have a couple more questions. Okay, toss them at me. Tell me about this Troik. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. <laughs> he has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets his guns <laughs> in exchange for not ratting. Drugs and hookers, baby. <laughs> okay, toss them at me. Anything about what they're planning? No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Go to the lower lobby. There's stairs over here. No. The dudes. Oh. If I wasn't working right now, I'd show you a real nice time. Hey there, can I get you a drink? Is it you? Sell you your own shit back. Give me a shot if you looking for information. Sorry. Some serious shit going between the NCR and the Legion. Better not fuck with our pal. Are you the gentleman I'm looking for, Troik? Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. What do you do here? I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. 
Pacino sent me to ask you about some guns. Pacino? Pacino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. Looking in to help Pacino break up whatever the bosses are planning. Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. Speech 80. Why, if you don't help me, I'll report your work here to the NCR. Yeah. So I'm fucked either way. I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Just try not to get me killed here. I lost karma. Fine. Okay, so can you tell me, uh, tell me about the guns and the, the Omertos they're have? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. How do you get the guns into the strip? I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. I have a couple more questions about the guns. Okay. Try and be fast about it. I would get take care as of the guns. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about <laughs> anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. You don't deploy the thermite yourself. I'll tell the bosses what you've been planning. Hey, fuck you. All right. I'll place the fucking thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. They're going, they're going at it. I heard you chase that chicken shit Benny off. Good riddance. They are going at it. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? Chino sent me to talk to you. Chino? Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? How'd you end up in one of the hotel I'm a close suites? Friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. What do you do around here? This and a little bit of that. Could you... Well, I really just extorted that man in the basement. I really, I really extorted that man. <laughs> Thank you, high speech. Alright, y'all enjoy that thermite. Welcome back to Gamora. I'm I leave. Oh yeah, that should have been enough time for Troik. Business is good. All the family got money. Hey, what can I do for you? Troik destroyed the guns for me. Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Now the bosses want to see you. I have some questions about the boss's plans. All right, let's have them. I figured you might have that problem. That guy's pretty much a mystery. I have been ratted out. It's masking around. The Gonna have to kill some people. Down low, of course. Turns out the boss's plans are right fucked without him. Killing him would probably work wonders. Just don't let anyone see you do it. Okay.
find out what kind of work Clandon does for the family. Wait, how am I supposed to do that? Good to see you again. Ho Have his room key. Not that that does much. Eighteen plus stream. What do I look for to get information on what he's doing? These tapes contain horrific sounds of murder and violence. You hear Clandon and Gangen in violent sex with women. I you, trigger warning. Uh, and then hear the sound of visceral and violent murder being. Hey there. Good to see you again. Hope you're winning some money in here. I think the authorities would like to hear these tapes I found I think in your safe. I should tell you before you have a chance to show those tapes to anyone. What do I have to lose? I'll give you the tapes if you promise to leave Vegas and never come back. All right, give me the tapes and I'll leave. I'm going a long way away from Vegas, but you better hope that you and I never see each other again. Right, me too. Hey, I'm leaving, and I don't have anything more to say to you, so get the fuck out of my face. I'm not into the old ultra violence. Hot damn, do I love this place. Hey, what can I do for you? Planning is leaving Gamora and won't come back. Oh, is that right? Well, I guess if he's gone, he's gone. I don't need to know anything more than that. What's the next step in breaking up the boss's plan? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Why do they need as to long die? As they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. I guarantee you, they have contingencies. How we take care of the They're bosses? A bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They task me to find out who's responsible. There isn't going to be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. They're going to expect something from me. You can do it, and it, and surprise them. All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. I love having maxed out speech. 
What happens when the bosses are when gone? They're gone. I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. Go take care of the bosses. Hurry and get ready. I'll be. I am ready. Hey, what can I do for you? Chino's agreed to take out the Omerita bosses during a meeting with them. Go to the go to Gachino when you're ready. I am ready. Hey there. Can I Put, you don't put chips in a slot machine. Welcome back to Gamora. Find yourself a girl or a guy and have a drink. Your family. Yeah, unimmersive. What? I've never been to a casino where you needed to put chips in the machine. Granted, I've never been to Vegas, so... Hey, what can I do for you? Let take a seat on the take a seat on the Let's couch, have please, some so we can have a little take talking a seat time. on the couch so we can get to So I assume you know why we called you here. Here you lost some guns? Yeah, we lost some guns, you little weasel. However, we can get more guns. You slowed us down, but you can't stop us. They used to. Okay. We're gonna die of failure. As a last request, will you tell me more about your plan? Are you shitting me? You didn't even know what the plan was. Yeah. As a last request, I guess we can give you that courtesy. Well, Nero didn't tell me any of this when he convinced me to take you out. Fuck. I knew there had to be someone higher up helping you. Nero, you backstabbing, two-timing motherfucker. I knew this day would come. I'm out of here! Over here! I'm gonna clip your sorry ass. You always thought I've been to Vegas? Nope, I've never been further west than Nashville, Tennessee. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Alright! We did it! We did the thing. We got a man killed. We let a violent criminal go. Probably shouldn't have. We made Nero kill his part partner. Tennessee is a real place. Tennessee is a real place. Your hometown is not farther west than Nashville. What? Well, my hometown is in Eastern Standard Time and Nashville's in center, Central Time. If that helps. <laughs> That's fair. How can I just perfectly pick him up? Get on the get on the pool table. Oh yeah, it Darth lives in Tennessee. <laughs> Is Nashville way west? You're way yeah, you are more west than Nashville, yes.
Oh, that's what you were saying. I'm definitely paying attention. I promise. I promise I am car comprehending. If you aren't Big Sal, keep your grubby fucking fingers to yourself. Troik blackmail note. Darth is imaginary. It's true. Hey boss, we took care of Troy just like you asked. The stupid bitch that tried to uh, tried to run away uh, made the perfect pasty or patsy. Uh, we get the double benefit of her stinking body serving as a warm res or a warning to the rest of the girls. Troy was so fucked up on that spiked jet, we could have stabbed him in the balls, and he wouldn't have said Daisy. Collective delusion. I, I was near you. I was near you, uh, for a little bit. On my last bike trip. We're gonna take a little vacation for a bit. Troik may have seen one of our faces while he was drifting in and out. We don't want him to get suspicious. Hopefully that scrawny little fuck does some good business for you. Thanks for the bonus, boss. Well, that was... Nashville's where you think you got COVID? Possible. I did not get COVID from Nashville. And I even got some drinks at Tootsie's. Find yourself a girl or a guy. Have some fun. Thanks, cat. I wish so. Oh! At least it wasn't right when I started streaming.
Anyway. <laughs> Uh, no, he just got back from breakfast. Actually, Big Sal's password's Daddy Z. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, uh, see, I I ended the phone call that time because I could tell, I could tell it was gonna be one of those. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, my friend and I are going to the auto show tomorrow, and my friend thought it was at a different location, so I said it was at a different location, so he was calling me to make sure I knew it was not at the location that I indicated. Which means you won't get a 10-hour stream two days in a row. <laughs> Are you getting all day genic? Probably not. There's a possibility, but probably not. Isn't that right, Zelda? Huh? Yeah? Okay. Alright, what do I want to do? Go to Red Rock Canyon. And all day Zelda, exactly. Um, at some point, I'm going to get froggy and go finish Halo 4. Off stream, of course. And then get very irritated that I can't play Halo 5 on PC. Or remain irritated, I should say. That's true. I would not finish New Vegas, probably. Because I'll start doing the uh, DLC at some point. Just upload it as, as one big video onto YouTube. Aren't those like Call of Duty? Uh. Halo 4 is more of Call of Duty than it ever was. <laughs> In so much of Vegas, you don't think you ever seen the DLC? I'll, I'll get there eventually. I'm almost level 20. <clears throat> I feel like there's a joke about Halo Combat Evolved doing very little evolving. There probably is, but it definitely, uh, it definitely bolstered itself a little bit when it, when 343 took over. Really on Reach when they added a sprint, a sprint ability. And then they just added a sprint button, and now Halo Infinite just look, literally plays like Call of Duty. But I like it better than Call of Duty. Call of Booty! Best game ever made? I respect your opinion. <laughs> Hi Zelda. 
Zelda also respect. Well, Zelda did respect your opinion, and then she ran away. You're halfway through the second book. Mine's on its way. I heard from one of Melissa's runners that that check coded bastard got thrown out on the back. Papa Khan and Regis. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? You tell me about your people. You want to hear the story of the great cons? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Is it at least good? Maybe you give me uh, the short version. In a hurry, are you? Very well then. The great cons came east out of the NCR fourteen years ago. We ruled the wastes then and called no man master, but we underestimated the families of the Strip. And they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. How did the three families defeat they you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. Having a Bitter Springs. When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. That doesn't sound like something the NCR would, would order. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. Look at that. Let's talk about something Typical. else. Typical. No reverence for history in the younger generations. Who are you? Way out to Red Rock Canyon. Enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great cons. The con of cons, if you like. This is my tribe, and I'm super nuisance fun. Farewell. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Cons? Until I feel like going through your text. Cannot sleep. Fuck it, I'll walk all the way there. Oh look, I got anything to do today. Oh shit. Welcome back, Zelda. Bye bye, Zelda. Fuck it, 24 hours here? We nah, I'm kidding. I'm lying. Here's the real question. Will Lily attack them?
The answer is yes. Figure that one out. Somebody will buy big horn or meat. Well, Lily Lily was mad that people were killing her big horners, and she just she just annihilated them. Thank you, Rex. They were attacking me, that's true. Yes, thank you for having stim packs. You know, I'm going to say it, this game might be a little better than 3. I've seen the light. <laughs> Yeah, doom flashbacks with very inappropriate noises. The Adventures of Hingle McCringleberry. Y'all got a bed around here? I, ne I need to sleep to magically heal my bones. I need to sleep for one whole hour to magically heal my bones. You don't think the main quest is quite as solid? That's fair. I just mean, like, mechanic-wise and everything. The fact that you get XP for your follower kills. Uh. That's right. Bones healed in 60 minutes. I think I gotta go on that road. We know we can't Skyrim climb things. Okay, that that road's not gonna do anything for us. I will. It's broken a lot more than three on me. And I know I always I keep meaning to move. Oh God! fine we're fine it's cool a little baby death claw yay followers do thy bidding Yes, we're level 17, baby. All right, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Let's get better at bartering. Put that up to 60. Uh, let's...
Let's improve our medicine. That's a lot of death claws. I missed a 95% shot! No, 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 you're a full ass death claw. If you thought we were gonna let those motherfuckers win, you're wrong. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Yeah, Hingle McCringle met her demise. But Hingle McCringle can reload. Hit detection though, getting very annoying. It's personal. It's personal now. Gotta be done. Mama Deathclaw beat the living fuck out of me with a crit. Rexy, they, they didn't do the job that time. God damn it, it's personal. Well, 
pieces of shit that have armor an unnecessary amount of armor how I'm just mountain climbing over here danger which one sees me I need mama to stop seeing my ass. Oh my god, look how many there are! Alright, it's not personal anymore. It's not personal anymore. It's fine. I've learned my lesson. I have seen... I have seen the face of I have seen the face of Satan. We are no longer fucking with the death claws up on that hill. Yep. Mm-hmm. Whatever. That's fine. We're sticking to the road. That was an, an unnecessary amount of death claws I've just seen. Ooh, Vault 19. Hmm. We won't go in there yet. Deathclaw Valley. It might... It, it, it's not a valley, but yeah. <laughs> We're gonna stick to the road like the beginning of the game told us. That'd be a good band name, Unnecessary Deathclaw. I agree. Yes! Yes, human enemies! Human enemies. Oh, thank gosh. Oh, thank gosh. Alright, we're almost full up on fucking shit. Yeah, powder gangers. Fuck them. We're gonna stay near this road and not go up on that set on that ridge. I'm yelling. I think I'm yelling because I have headphones on. No, no. Are they regular death claws or young? De run, 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 run. Run, 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 dun, 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 dun,
We good? We good? Just, just don't ask me how I lived, okay? Because I don't have an answer for you. Okay? Just, just don't. That'll teach the powder gangs. That was that was very dicey, but you know. Thanks again for all your help. Yo, can you get away from this computer, please? So I can lose some karma. God, I'm gonna lose karma every time I fuck up. Where's the shopkeep? Evening. I'm glad that business is you know the robot that rescued me? Good re Give me a shout if you need anything else. It's Tom tumbling Tom. You looking to buy some supplies? Yo, you have a lot of caps, bro. Stim packs. Oh, you didn't get any more stim packs? Another satisfied customer. Wait. How much how much more weight do I got? You looking to buy some supplies? Give me a shout if you need anything. 
Alright, bye chat. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled program. I can just walk there from here. Four hours already. Way too much Gina content. If it was warm, I would go build things in my car. Yes, all the stim packs and red X. Scorpion. Warning, death claws ahead. I hear you. I hear you. I trust you. Please no death class. Please no death class. No death class, please. I'm too young for death class. go to this prison first. Oh, I've already been there. Can I go to that town first? Yeah, let's go to that town. Too bad, so sad, Powder Ganger.
It's a mole rat. Raxy, don't do it. When do you generator still not working? Big surprise. Is this a side quest? Oh, I want some hot chocolate. God damn it. Oh, ho, 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 hold the phone. I have some karma to spare. It's fine. Yeah, I'm still good. Why did you have more caps in metal cases than you did in the safe? I didn't just rob you blind. Maybe I was just seeing things, but I could have sworn I saw some people up on the ridge by the quarry. With these headphones on, all I hear is Lily breathing, and that must be what it's like for people that used to uh, talk to me on the phone at work. Because I'd had, I swear I had that fucking note, the mouthpiece like right here. So I am so sorry to all the agents that I talked to that had to hear me mouth breathe. It's too damn hot. Let me ask. <laughs> what up, Sniper King? What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Anything that wasn't made 200 years ago. Uh, yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway, I've got this recipe for a death claw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a death claw egg. I think I have one. Pretty obvious, I suppose. I think I have one. I just happen to have a death claw egg with me here. You actually got one. Give me a bit to get the recipe set up, then talk to me again. This is incredibly good. Here's your omelet and the recipe if you ever want to make your own. It takes a bit of skill to get it tasting right. Don't know what you have for sale. Going well, just finished just Yakuza Kwame 2. You're stoked to play Yakuza 3 today? Hell yeah. Uh, how about me? It's going as good as it can be. I woke up. I can still walk and talk. My computer still works. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas is only broken once. Now, if history repeats itself, the last time I mentioned Fallout New Vegas not breaking itself, it broke itself immediately. So. Sure. What did you want to know? You don't look like a quarry worker. Oh. I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. Making my way Basically, downtown. goes there. And best of all, the NCR can't mess it up for you. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the strip unless you're rich. Nice. Nice. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces passing. I'm homebound. Do -do 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 -do. Bring back Twitch sit going on too and you're going to pass out now all right darth i may or may not be on when you wake back up have a good sleep you from california born and raised things back in california are better than they've ever been according to Your local friend. johnny guitar the checking in what up long dong shivers to get a job at one of the mills or farms but now there's taxes and laws and other things the ncr keeps things safe and orderly but it's all very boring so, I came out east, towards the frontier. Talk about something else. All right. Oh, that death claw yeah. omelet recipe. Where'd you come up with this My recipe? My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back oh. in California, hey. in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female death claw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. Damn, At Aunt Rose. She did until some stranger came along and killed the death claw. Shot it right in the eye. Way to go, Shadow Man. 
Why'd you go and do that? God, can't have nice things. <laughs> Bed and breakfast, where's Dwight when you need <laughs> Oh, it got loose, which was also your fault. <laughs> God, can't have nice, can't have nothing nice. Hey, you want to go bed, buddy? It's okay. It's fine. Why do you think the NCR will send their troops to help us? Oh, I, I could, I could swear that there was gonna be. Hold up! There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. Where did the death claws they come from? The quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show, and my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. I could take care of your death claw problem. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death claws are tough bastards, but you might be even tougher. Nobody here is any use to you in a fight against death claws, but take these medical supplies. You'll probably need them. I will Do definitely the use them right, for the death claws. Leaders, the mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Should run the rest of them off. Thanks for the stim packs. Talk about the powder gang. A bunch of escape cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up. But the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Death clock, death clock. Look, you want you tell the tree. Pickles drummer, doodly doo, doodly. <laughs> you ever had problems with death claws before? I see them occasionally, but <coughs> they seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Talk about something else. What is this place? This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay's good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. What's the NCR need with cement? It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR is probably building fortifications with it all. <laughs> You don't get paid in caps? The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. What's the drag line? It's a big line? machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. Talk about something else. What are you talking about New I've Vegas? I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through so here. Well, I could go to the casino today. Life. Once they get there, it never happens.
Just one. Just one. Oh. Oh. oh okay, they're just they're just rat scorpions. It's fine. It's fine. Hidden Valley. There's some ranch here. Yeah, I said it. Oh, silly goose. Hidden Valley Ranch, you know. With cows and stuff. Oh, oh, oh. I disagree! I jumped off the edge. Is there an easier way in here? Probably. Do I want to take the time to find that easier way in here? Alright, we're good. You had to reset your phone to get chat to come back just to tell you. Just to yell at me for the ranch joke. Darth said there was a valley in there somewhere. That's true. Is there not a spot in here anymore? Oh, I'm supposed to be here. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing in here? A Brotherhood of Steel must be here. Ban the bomb. No backseat. I wasn't baiting the backseat. See? Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. And over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. I'm not gonna hand over everything. I own you and your tin can friends. You don't seem to understand how close you are to being erased from existence. Will you or will you not comply? No, I won't comply. Vilified. For your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, become vilified by the community. Fuck you in your armor. <laughs> Go away, I'm baiting. Go away, I'm baiting. Anyway. I guess I'll comply. Fucking armor. Let's talk this over. Nothing to talk over. You can strip down and hand over your equipment, or you can die. Will you comply? Okay, I'll comply. Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you.
How the hell did you get in here? Normally, I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? I appear to be lost. I'll just head back the way I came in. <laughs> I'll speak to your Elder. Lead the okay. way. I'll take you to him. Follow me. Closely. Or you'll be shot. Yo, what up? How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. I was just exploring the area and noticed your patrol coming out of here. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. I mean... The security of this bunker is my foremost concern. And I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider. Who can accomplish certain tasks. Some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood. I can take care of the ranger. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. Well, guess we're doing this mission. You'll find your equipment in a chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. I know I can just hit take all, but this is more fun. Oh yeah, that soundtrack. Sick beat. Suicide Squad us or collar bomb us. I guess we're just gonna go to a PNC bank in Erie, Pennsylvania. That's a joke, or that's a reference that uh, only a few people in here are gonna get. It's the bunker. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right, Curls Burgers. you sneak up on me you filthy powder ganger keep pointing that gun at me and i'll stick it up your ass ha. got some claws on you little lady i like that what can i do for you you have to get out of now, here why would i do that you see some powder gangers on the approach or something 
Powder gangers use these bunkers hideouts once or twice a month. You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. You're welcome. You're welcome. My, my speech is just so high. Yo, can I take some of your uh, power armor so I can go deal with some death claws? Yeah, smooth talking genic, unlike real life, where I sound like a deal. One long YouTube video. I'm gonna put it all up just like this. Did you resolve the situation with the ranger? Ranger won't be a problem. He's gone. Gone? Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? I convinced him that staying here was more dangerous than moving yes. on. You exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Yeah, okay. I just want some power armor. If I could defeat all of you and just take power armor, I would. Can we not can we not stand in the doorway? What I wish to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room outsider. But you hurry the fuck up. first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Begin looking immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. 
The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes. Yep, they the do. Patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Okay. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. And I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who were outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. How do you propose we do that? Know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. Oh my god. Our early test results look promising. We have a lot of decisions we can make and things we can do. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Line just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. How'd you get in here? But how'd you get in here? Why is this event happening in here? Why were you following me? It started me? off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about There's these no caps? Wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Can I find more about All those caps? The, place. the easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it. Hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Mention someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Do you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, 
I tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. What kind of treasure are we talking Who about? Knows? Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks for info. I'll be going now. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. I still want to know how he got in here. Tell me. Yeah? Those are all the computers. It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. You said any more before, uh, before, or you said any more before. Did the Brotherhood used to go out more? Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Should you be in school or something? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Tell me about well, yourself. like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. Are your parents here somewhere? died at Helios 1. The others were always like a family to me before that, but afterward they became my family in truth. Well, I don't know. I'm a little like both of them, I guess. If I had to choose, I really don't know which I'd pick. That's a question I've been asked a lot lately, since it's something I have to decide for myself soon. What do you mean decide for I'm yourself? I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became eligible for journeyman status. But first, I have to decide which order I want to join. The Knights I agree. The tribes. How about the Knights? The Knights are in charge of all of our equipment. Power armor, Gatling lasers, you name it. All of it built and maintained by knights. Knights also get to go out on patrols, scouting assignments, and support the paladins in offensive operations. Being a knight would mean getting to see more of the world, fight the Brotherhood's enemies, and possibly someday become a paladin like my mother. Bye. Hey. Yes, what is it? You are? Ah, the outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am head scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Being watched. Okay. So don't get any ideas. being watched so don't get any ideas wait who's down here that I can talk look this isn't a great time Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Something wrong? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Why is that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. A virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. I think I do the hell? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. 
We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we Excuse locate me. the third. What do I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. I'll give it a try. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. You're being watched, so don't get any ideas. How may I assist you? I'll track the virus from over here. You just concentrate on locating the terminals hosting it. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went. Went to. Oh my god. Hello outsider. Get Damn, it's jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. You know? Yeah, I'm not doing that. If I level up twice before this is over, I'll just have a high enough science to go, hey, do this. Presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. You must believe that you'd be very useful. What would an elder have to do to get kicked out? So you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, None of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. Tell me more about what happened I'm to sure Helios. Someone's told you all this before. Several years back, we were running our chapter out the Helios One solar power station. Our elder at the time, Elijah, had some kind of obsession with the place, which is the only reason we stayed as long as we did. That place was hardly defensible, and we knew the NCR was moving in on us, but the elder refused to budge, insisting that he just needed more time. We never found out what he needed time for. Wave upon wave of NCR troopers hit us from all directions. We held out for a time, 
but we were grossly outnumbered, and they had more men than we had ammo. Eventually, our positions collapsed. Elder Elijah was nowhere to be found, so McNamara took charge and led what remained of us on a counteroffensive west. We lost a lot of men and women, but we broke through and made it here. Make no mistake, McNamara saved this chapter that day. Who was Elijah? Who was Elijah, more like? He was our elder before McNamara. Bright guy, but just between you and me, he was a little off. Our mission is to recover and preserve the technology of the past, but Elijah wanted more. He sought ways to improve upon technology, make it better. When we found Helios One, he was like a kid in a candy store. He kept talking about the potential and a grand design never realized. He even insisted we set up our base there, against the objection of nearly every paladin. What followed is a whole other story. You're head of security? That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. Why did I have to deal with that ranger topside? Like that would have fallen under my jurisdiction. But the elder thought it provided a good test for you, so I backed off. What exactly, uh, what exactly are the rules regarding entering and leaving? Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. And other questions. So play stupid little game. Play that stupid little game of finding the virus, or just go do something else and level up. Okay, other one. Is that the last place I gotta go? Oh, White Glove Society. I have my, my king's outfit. I join the king. Thank you, Lily. Phone's ringing, dude. Thank you, Donnie.
I do have very good companions. They're making this much easier than it would be if it were just me wandering around here. some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. So I hear the honcho of one of them strip families up and disappeared. Poof. Yeah, they'll find his body someday. Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Y yeah. Yeah. Queens. Yay, Walker of the Mojave. I got an achievement. I have achieved. The homie gets some stim packs. I sure am not. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Muma territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. You can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. <laughs> you a little How information. You help or not? Oh, you'll take, gotcha. Thanks for the warning. Going on past those signs. Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. The way to get past? There is a way. And I'll tell you. For a little wager. Wager? Let's hear well, it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Three hundred caps. I'm a bit short right now. How about two hundred? All right. I suppose I can cut you a deal, but not a cap lower. I gotta make a living here. Okay. Here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. The key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building, up the northwest side of the town, towards the north or front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings, then make a beeline in front of the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick to the fence till you make it to the gate. Also, I know uh, there is an old train tunnel that enters from that area or enters the area from the south, but no one has ever come back. Uh, out of there as well. Stay safe, whatever. Do it. Jesus, we're over five hours. I heard it. I heard it. I went the wrong direction. 
I went the wrong direction. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Simple enough. Run, hide, or run, hide, run. It's all in the time. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack and you. Just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. All right, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. <laughs> I might be of exist ex assistance. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. How can we trust each other if you're going to keep, uh, be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Yeah, we're gonna get really squirrely with these missions here. I'm gonna keep and switching quests. <laughs> All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. If you can't keep that thing under control, I will. Quest added. Bolt Volaire. Oh, where'd Pearl go? There's Pearl. You should get out of my before you get yourself hurt. How is your visit with us? You tell me. What do you people have to say about I me? I haven't heard anything. You must not be trying hard enough. Still trying to figure uh, out how to help you now. Each of the elders would appreciate assistance with various issues here in Nellis. Seek out Jack, Loyal, Raquel, and Argyle. They will guide you. Okay. Don't get blown up.
Um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make a whole good old save. Uh, and I am gonna take off or a break. I don't know which yet. Might be back later. Might not be back later. I don't know. I have no idea. All I can tell you is uh, it for this particular stream. Only one New Vegas break, which is fantastic. <laughs>